Greetings and salutations. I am your humble Adobe instructor, AJ Wood. We're talking Photoshop CS5, and this is brought to you by tipsquirrel.com. We're going to take a look today at the new CS Review feature, which is built into Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign, and it's part of the new CS Live services. Let's go ahead and jump right in. You can see that I'm in Photoshop right now, and I have a new panel entitled CS Review. Currently in this document, I don't have any reviews online, and what CS Review is going to allow me to do is share this off with clients and have them engage in the creative process so they can be fully involved giving me feedback as I'm working on the photo. I'll go ahead and take this file and initiate it for a new review. I have to give it a title, and I'll go ahead and click OK, and I'll take the existing document. It's going to add this for review and it's also going to upload it to the new acrobat.com website. Go ahead and sync this up and it'll take just a second to get it uploaded and once it's uploaded it'll take me to acrobat.com and log me in. You can see that here is the file and if we take a look at the review file format online I have the ability to navigate the multiple pages created so this is the first edition for review I can zoom in and out of the document and then I have the ability to see available comments which right now there are none and I can go ahead and add a comment to the page at this point I would initiate a review by selecting who I want to share the file with so I'll go down to the lower left corner of the browser window click on share file and all I need to do is simply initiate an email to the person who's going to receive the file and invite them to take a look at it. A right. couple quick things under more options you can specify if that person can reshare the file. I do not want them to reshare the file so I'll make this only for co-authors. I'll also go ahead and make sure that this person is set up as a reviewer only not as somebody who can actually make changes to the file everything looks good I'll go ahead and click on share and now this file is being sent out to the client while the client is receiving the file they'll have the ability to go through and mark it and make comments and decide what changes they'd like to see but they're not actually going to edit the file directly it's worth noting that for a limited time CS live services will be provided complimentary courtesy of Adobe you can go to Acrobat.com today and create an Adobe ID for the website and you can use Acrobat.com free. Free service will gain you limited access to workspaces and the ability to do web conferencing. Of course the premium services will have more features and you can check Acrobat.com for the pricing info. Some other things to keep in mind when you're initiating the review. If you wanted to we can engage in a real-time conversation using Acrobat Connect. So I'm going to sit here and take a look at the screen waiting for the reviews to come across. It looks like our reviewer, Xavier, has logged in and it looks like now they've got some comments coming across. Because I'm logged in at the same time, I can go ahead and take a look and see what they're talking about. Not only can I see the comments, but I can actually jump right to the specific comment they're talking about. You can see the screen zoomed in and it's also highlighted it in a preview window for me. So it looks like they want us to brighten the eyes and then there's a ribbon they want removed. Let's go ahead and jump to that. Ah, there's a yellow ribbon there. So I can take this information and I can reply to it online, but let's just go back to Photoshop. If I come back into Photoshop, you can see that their comments have actually shown up in the CS Review panel. So if I take a look, I can go ahead and inside of Photoshop, I can click and reply or I can simply click on the item and also inside of Photoshop I get a preview window so I can see where they've marked and made comments and see exactly what it is that they're talking about in the photo so there is the yellow ribbon they want removed on the balloon and they've also asked us to brighten the eyes for the purpose of this tutorial I've gone ahead and I've created some preview layers so I'm just going to turn those on so now I've made the changes to the document you can see that the ribbon is removed you can see the eyes are brightened at this point what I need to do is add this version of the document 
to the review process. I'll do that by coming down to the bottom of the CS review panel and say capture this image and add it to the review. So I go ahead and click on that. It wants me to save the file. I'll just go ahead and continue for now. And it prompts me for what type of quality for the image preview. I'll just say medium. And I'll go ahead and upload it. Once again, it's going to upload and sync, and then it will open up Acrobat.com, and I can navigate to the current preview of the document. You can see that it's opening, and if you take a look in the left-hand side of the screen, I'm currently on page one where our customer left some comments, but now I can navigate to page two. And on page two, as the document loads, you can see this is the updated document and I can wait for comments to come across. And you can see that the customer likes it, it looks good. Right? That CS review, here's Photoshop. I'm AJ Wood, appreciate you tuning in today. Have a good one and I'll catch you next time.